Kia ora. Thanks for uh, coming to Henderson Police Station today. My name is Superintendent Nyla Hassan. I'm the District Commander of uh, Wairamata. I'm going to go through a pre-written statement of what occurred today and then I'll be open for questions. An armed defender has been shot by police following a serious incident that unfolded in Henderson this morning. Just after 10am, a man was approached, has approached a cash and transit van at a petrol station on Henderson Valley Road. At some point, the man has discharged a firearm at this location. No one has been injured, however, he then left in a black BMW. Police immediately responded to this report and cordoned off the area. The police Eagle helicopter was also deployed into the area. Just after 10.33 a.m., the vehicle returned to the scene and a firearm was presented at police staff. He has driven away from the scene and proceeded to fire at police near the intersection of Forest Hill Road and Pine Avenue. Eagle continued to track the offender's vehicle driving around the Henderson area where he is, was seen acting erratically and firing on multiple occasions at police staff. The offender has done this with absolutely zero regard to the safety, for the safety of police staff or members of the public going about their business nearby. Our investigation team is still working to piece, at pace to piece together what happened this morning. But what we know so far is that this offender fired at police on at least seven occasions. There may have also been occasions where the offender discharged his firearm towards members of the public. At this stage we know that police have fired back at the offender on more than one occasion. The offender continued driving towards the Henderson Police Station. On his arrival at the station, a decision was made to quickly lock down the building for the safety of all staff and members of the public. At 10.49am, the offender stopped his vehicle outside the station and exited holding a firearm. Members of the armed defender squad approached the offender and challenged him to put down his firearm. He continued brandishing it and at this point police have shot him. First aid was immediately provided by staff and he was transported to hospital. This afternoon he has been undergoing surgery and remains in a critical condition in Auckland Hospital. What unfolded today is an inexcusable act of violence towards police staff and members of the public. I'm very proud of the bravery, the courage and the tenacity of all our staff who responded to this incident today, considering the significant danger this offender posed to them. It is incredibly fortunate that no police officer or member of the public has suffered any serious injuries from this offender's absolutely reckless actions. One staff member has suffered minor injuries after they were forced to take evasive action when the offender fired at them inside the vehicle. Our staff in Wairamata have been in this terrible position before and I know today's events will be difficult for our people and also our colleagues across all other districts. We're ensuring that our staff here have the welfare and support in place to ensure they are taken care of after what's occurred today. We'd like to acknowledge the impact of today's events, uh, the impact that, the, start that again, We'd like to acknowledge the impact that today's events have had on Henderson and the wider community, and our thoughts are with all. There are now several investigations underway, including a critical incident review and a policy practice and procedure investigation. As standard practice, the Independent Police Conduct Authority has also been notified, along with WorkSafe. The investigation team is now undertaking a number of inquiries and we'll be speaking to several witnesses and members of the public. This includes scene examinations across a number of locations around West Auckland. Thank you. John, um, we've spoken to a witness who said it appeared the man's arm, or at least one of the arms, were outstretched when he was shot. Do you have anything to say to that? The investigation is underway. I don't have uh, any information before me that indicates um, anything to do with that. Will the offender known to police? 
The offender is known to police. Can you shed any light on any more information on who he is? The offender is a male uh, in his mid-twenties. He's known to police. He's on active charges relating to drugs and violence. Is this related to the armed robbery happening anyway? Uh, I'm unsure of that. Uh, I'm unsure of which um, incident you were speaking about, but we do have a number of scenes locked down and people being spoken to across West Auckland. Do you have the status of the man? I do. At, at the moment, he is in critical condition undergoing surgery. Commander, how big of an issue is gun crime in West Auckland? Look, there's, um, gun crime is, is definitely out there across New Zealand. Uh, I'm confident that the police are doing everything we can to stamp down on people that uh, are holding firearms. But we've seen an increase, um, it seems, from our perspective, in West Auckland specifically over the past, say, six months. Do you think there has been an increase in firearms offences in West Auckland? I don't believe there's been an increase in firearms offences. What I do know is that our people are targeting uh, offenders that have access to firearms and are offending with firearms. Do you speak to the mental stage or the offender was under the influence of anything this early? Um, the, beh the behaviour of uh, this offender was certainly unpredictable and erratic. Um, I think uh, I don't know any, anything further about his mental state, but certainly his behaviour has indicated to us um, that um, he's not predictable. In regards there are some to suggestions that there aren't enough guns at this station. Why haven't all level one, all level one respondents having access to firearms in their vehicles? Look, we do have firearms. Uh, our staff do have access to firearms. It depends what team they work in, but majority of our staff do have access to firearms in their vehicles. In regards to the vehicle that was being driven, is this um, the offender's own vehicle or has it been a stolen vehicle? I'm unsure of that, I'm sorry. The, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but there's a black vehicle still at the scene at the other petrol station. Did the offender change vehicles or what happened to his vehicle? As you can appreciate, it's really early in the investigation. Uh, uh, the, a vehicle was driven here to Henderson Police Station uh, and has our staff have engaged with that offender in a black vehicle at the police station here. Is there any other offenders or just one person? I understand there is only one offender involved. And then there is a car, a police, uh, must be a police car on Seymour Road that appears to have a bullet, um, bullet damage. Was that, did that happen on Seymour Road? Again, um, there's multiple scenes, as you can appreciate, across West Auckland. Um, I'm just trying to uh, gather that information as the investigation progresses. Uh, I'm unsure of which one you're, you're asking about, but what I can say is this offender has shot at police at least seven times in the space in a short sort of 15 or 20 minute period as he was driving around West Auckland. So. Uh, I'm sorry, again, it's really early in the investigation. I'm unsure of what type of firearm he had. Speaking, was it like a semi-automatic type thing, or is it a small gun? I'm, I'm, not, I'm sorry, I'm not in a position to, um, to inform you of that. This Pardon sounds me? insensitive, and I don't mean it to be, but, but tell me why something like this is so hard for your staff at this particular stage. Oh, I think you know why. Um, Matt Hunt was killed here in 2020. Um, in West Auckland, so of course it's really tough. Um, but I'm not uh, saying it's particularly tough on uh, on just West Auckland. Uh, it's tough on police officers right across the country. But um, what I will say is our people are incredibly professional, incredibly well trained, uh, and incredibly resilient. And uh, they are trained to respond to incidents like this. On there, can you just walk us through what happens when somebody turns up on the front doorstep? with a firearm, uh, AOS staff already here? Do they have to come from somewhere else? What happens with that? Uh, what, I'm going to talk more generally around, um, around uh, safety of our people. We um, have introduced the Frontline Safety Improvement Program uh, across the country um, over the last few years, and that helps our people be far better trained in responding to incidents like this. On this occasion, it was the AOS that engaged with the offender outside the police station. About 10 minutes between the first second incident and him driving to this police station, that's a long time and quite a distance for him to be brandishing a weapon and firing shots. Um, I guess what goes through officers' heads um, when that's happening? Look, I don't know what went through the officers' heads um, on this occasion, I wasn't there, but what I can say is our people are really well trained. We have an assessment, the 10-hour assessment, 
and they go through that and decide how they respond. Um, and their response is according to that 10-hour assessment, that threat assessment. Anything else about that evasive manoeuvre that the officer had to make? Was he driving, he or she driving, and was there damage to themselves? Yeah, I just understand that um, that officer had to act um, quickly because the offender had fired shots at that officer in their vehicle. Uh, I understand there's at least four or five scenes, but um, as you can appreciate, it's only happened uh, a few hours ago and we are still in the process of pulling everything together as quickly as we can. And how's the mental health of the officers that have been involved with this? Are they okay? I've um, spoken to those officers. They are doing okay. They've been given some time to just get some space and process what's happened today. Have Almost. any charges been laid on the suspects so far? Uh, the, the offender is in critical condition in hospital, so we are piecing together exactly what happened this morning before anything is considered in terms of any charges. Do you know the, the route that he took to get from the petrol station down the road to here was the street? I don't personally know exactly which street. What I do know is uh, on numerous occasions he fired shots at our police staff. One more question. On those four or five scenes, can you provide any detail as to where they were and what kind of route was taken through them? Uh, no, I, I can't. I just don't have that level of detail. I'm sorry. And has anyone else been injured at any point during this incident? I don't believe so. Um, that's that's as far as I know. How many police staff were involved in this operation? Uh, I don't know how many. Like oh, look, I, I honestly, I'd be guessing. Um, you know, when there's firearms incidents, all of our people uh, are really responsive. So, um, you know, uh, there'd be a lot of police staff involved and we involve a lot of staff outside of our district. We get really good support from our colleagues across Tamaki Makoto from Counties Monaco District and also Auckland City District. Last question. What assurances are you giving residents that the area is safe? Uh, we will be doing some additional reassurance patrols around West Auckland this evening, but what I can um, tell you is I understand there is one offender involved in this incident today, albeit they have caused a lot of havoc right across West Auckland, it's one offender. That offender right now is in critical condition in Auckland Hospital. Are they connected to organised crime at all? I am not sure. Sorry. Thanks for uh, coming to Henderson Police Station today. My name's Superintendent Nyla Hassan. I'm the District Commander of uh, Wairamata. I'm going to go through a pre-written statement of what occurred today and then I'll be open for questions. An armed defender has been shot by police following a serious incident that unfolded in Henderson this morning. Just after 10am, a man was approached, has approached a cash and transit van at a petrol station on Henderson Valley Road. At some point, the man has discharged a firearm at this location 
no one has been